I had an accident on the 11th of December 1988. And yesterday I was reading an article in a newspaper saying that the Rumart is not very honest. I'm a patrolman for uh, the SQ. And I'm responsible for investigation. And I was going to a very grave accident. Two cars uh, had a head-on collision. And we were going quickly with the flashers and the siren. siren. And on the route, on route 311, my friend, the driver, lost control of the car. And we, uh, we went uh, into the ditch. On a, on a stone, we landed, and the car was upside down. My seat was broken, and my wrist was uh, broken. The door was uh, open, and my two feet were uh, on the ceiling. At that time, I didn't feel any pain, and I went to the Mont Laurier Hospital at 9 o'clock in the evening. At the emergency room, it was useless to go there. It was full of people. So we, had an, we were in an accident that needed two ambulances. So at 9 o'clock in the evening, I was at the hospital. And I can tell you that I was quite stiff. I couldn't move my neck. The doctor examined me. I won't give you his name. It's not worth it. And he gave me three months uh, of holidays. I had no reflex in my arms, in my uh, legs. After a month and a half, I was wearing a collar, a beautiful collar. And uh, the employers thought that my... Uh, holiday was too long. My sick leave was too long. And they sent me to the doctor, and the doctor said, uh, I'll take x-rays. You have a very grave problem in your back and in your neck. And so the doctor gave me one more month sick leave. So I was worried a lot. So I went back to see my family doctor. And that's what the SQ doctor had suggested, because the doctor that I had seen was not up to par. So I met the same doctor as Mrs. Pilon. He is our family doctor, and he's a good doctor. He really analyzes the case uh, in depth. So he went to see me at a specialist in St. Luke Hospital, and uh, when he examined me, he could go in the holes between bones. And they sent me to a Milo, Electro Milo. And then I had the chance of seeing Dr. Jean Rémiard at the St. Luke Hospital. He's a, a phys, physiatry specialist. And he had the scanner at St. Luke Hospital in August 1989. The result of the scanner was L3, L4, L5, and it's very long, the disc uh, generation, degeneration. That means uh, you have to go back home and uh, nothing to do. I couldn't sit, I couldn't sleep, I was really angry. My wife had to go back to work, and I was two years without work. This is the first time in my life that I was on a, such a long sick leave, and I didn't like it very much. I got all kinds of medication. I took anti-inflammatory pills, and uh, it hurt my stomach. And I also took other medication that looks like chalk, and this gave me kidney problems. And I had uh, different kinds of medications, and there was an orange and yellow pill that was strong enough for a horse. Oh, 
I wasn't myself anymore. I could tell you that I was dead for two years, in fact. And the CSST, uh, Felix Leclerc said the best way to kill a man is to pay him uh, for, for him to stay home. And it's true. I really tried everything. And uh, suddenly I went to physiotherapy in Montreal in the Fides building. I had laser treatment for a week, five days. I came back home and I couldn't walk for two day, two weeks. I had tractions and I paralyzed on the traction table. I was jammed completely. My physiotherapist was uh, nervous and I was too. So I started working again in December 1989. In spite of my pain, the doctor didn't approve of it. I finished working at four o'clock. I went to the physiotherapist. They pulled my head. They gave me massage, ultra ultrasounds, hot water, cold water. I tried everything. And in March 1990, I jammed again. I finished working at four o'clock. I went to physiotherapy in order to be able to work the day after. Five, five days a week. Now, in the month of November 1990, that's not too long ago, Mrs. Pilon's brother, Gaston Pilon, I talked with him and he said my sister improved a lot with a special machine and uh, he had the back trouble and I told him I'm ready to try anything so I'm going to try try it. He talked to me about the, the pads and uh, the rings and the circles. Or, Are you laughing at me? I said. But I tried it. I tried it three times, and there was a conference in Mont-Laurier at the Picardy Motel with Dr. Yvan Gagnon, and after the third treatment, I still had problems, but there are places that became insensitive, and it didn't hurt. But then it started hurting again, so I asked Dr. Gagnon, what's going on? It's hurting more. He said, there's no problem. Do you take medication? I said, presently, uh, no, I don't take any medication. I bought a dictionary, a medical dictionary, dic dictionary, and there are all kinds of secondary effects of these medications, and we fill our body with these stuff. So I continued with the machine, and I tried it six times, and I liked it so much that I bought it. You can't believe it. I went back to see the doctor in hospital and on the 11th of January 1990 I had had my accident on December 1988 and I bought the uh, machine 11th of December 1990, two years later. I'm not a charismatic but somebody certainly pushed me for me to uh, buy this at the same date of my accident and I have two memorable moments, these are the two. Unbelievable. I started to work on Monday, on the 4th of February 1991, and the doctor at the St. Luke Hospital in October 1990 told me, Jacques, there's nothing to do, you have to, to live with it, there's nothing we can do. This is a disc uh, degeneration, we found it on, with the scanner and uh, magnetic uh, image. If that's not honest, I don't know what it is. <laughs>